Who was the pilot of the Thing's spaceship? Revealed. Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither was the epic film called The Thing. John Carpenter's The Thing started off as a misunderstood piece of work. Critics trashed the film because they didn't comprehend the depth it held, and the audiences were no better. Furthermore, the film was released in the backdrop of another terrestrial creature named E.T. Now, E.T. was a jolly creature whom everyone loved, while Carpenter's Lovecraftian monster was evil, pure evil. And we can all agree that the general audience loves a happy ending. However, Carpenter's film stood the test of time, and today it enjoys the luxury of being called a classic. The reason why the film is such a success is the setting behind it, i.e. the settings of paranoia, the cold, the confusion. We can go on and on about the film's legacy, but that's not why you and I are here today. In this video, we will discuss the alien spacecraft that we see in the opening credits of the original film. So, the Thing came to Earth on a UFO that crash landed in Antarctica some hundred thousand years ago. Now, the critical question that arises is, who were the original passengers of this UFO? Here we are with the answers. Are you ready to learn more about The Thing and be thrilled to bits? Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. UFO is discovered in The Thing movie. The UFO concerned originally appeared in the opening credits of John Carpenter's The Thing. Its entry into the Earth's atmosphere was far from smooth, as it didn't necessarily follow a projectile or a predetermined path. The course it followed was disoriented and haphazard, meaning it never meant to land on Earth intentionally and struck the blue planet only because of losing control of the flight. This was possibly a result of The Thing's actions, which was the onboard with original passengers or the pilot aliens of the UFO. After the crash landing, the thing must have crawled out of the debris and traveled a small distance before collapsing due to the harsh weather conditions and the sub-zero temperatures. It ultimately froze or hibernated for over 100,000 years. Over the period of time, 100,000 years of ice and snow buried the UFO out of anyone's sight, only to be discovered by the Norwegian crew of the research station named Thule in the year 1982. We estimate it's been here approximately 100,000 years. Discovering the UFO was probably their most extraordinary find ever, truly a discovery of the millennia. Close to the UFO, they also found frozen alien remains, which they thought were the remains of the dead passengers of the spacecraft. But we know very well that that was far from the truth. Something really sinister and intelligent was waiting to unleash itself. Kate Lloyd, the American paleontologist of the Norwegian base, advised against bringing the alien specimen to the facility, but that went unheard. They drilled the ice to penetrate into its body and retrieve a small sample for tests, and the drilling was enough to thaw the ice and release the alien from its natural containment. It soon burst out of the ice block and attacked a crew member, but this was only the beginning. One by one, the alien would attack, assimilate, and assume the shapes of its victims, leaving the entire crew in a state of claustrophobia and paranoia. In the end, only two survivors would remain, who chased the thing on a helicopter, which was now imitating the shape of an Alaskan Malamute. However, the creature reached the American base U.S. Outpost 31, and the two Norwegians eventually got killed before they could achieve anything substantial. The Americans suffered a fate similar to the Norwegians. Interestingly enough, the Thing tried to build a makeshift UFO using the parts of a helicopter and a tractor, but the Americans got wind of it. We think the signal got triggered when the survivor exited the craft. Who were the pilots of the Thing's spaceship? We have established that the UFO at which the thing traveled to Earth was not its own. It most certainly assimilated with the pilot alien crew of the UFO, but they probably discovered the thing's presence on the spacecraft. An intense battle must have ensued, which led to the crash landing of the UFO. The 2011 prequel film, directed by Matthias Van and written by Eric Heiserer, was supposed to feature this alien species, but the poor response that they received from a test audience and budgetary constraints led to the creature being dropped from the final cut. The pilot aliens of the UFO were to be brought to life using special effects, which were ultimately replaced with the geometric, glowing hologram that we saw in the final version of the film. However, Amalgamated Dynamics had created a fully functional animatronic puppet in the pre-production 
stages and this design is available on the internet for anyone to view. As far as the pilot alien's nature is concerned, it belonged to a race of aliens that were devoted to collecting specimens of plant and animal life from different planets. An intergalactic zoological expedition and exploration, if you will. These collected specimens were then stored in containment pods so that they could be taken to the pilot alien's home world for research or other purposes. Unfortunately for the alien pilots, they captured the thing while it was imitating some other creature. And once on board, the thing must have broken out of containment and unleashed its wrath on the original passengers of the UFO. The pilot aliens were around 12 to 16 feet in height and had a biomechanical exterior, while their heads had three vertically positioned eyes. They breathed through a device that ran from their back right up to their chests. The most interesting feature, however, was that the pilots controlled their ship with the help of tubes that connected the spaceship to themselves. These tubes would find their other end in the bioports on the pilot's back. If we look closely enough, it seems that the pilot aliens were similar to the engineers or space jockeys from the alien universe. I mean, the engineers are known to be the creators of several life forms with the help of black liquid or black goo. Similarly, the pilots assembled a nursery of specimens from various planets, probably for the purpose of creating newer life forms. It would be interesting to learn more about these guys. The Thing prequel had pretty grand plans for its alien pilots, like having three different forms of pilots. The first would have been a mummified pilot, the second an alive pilot, and the third would have been the Thing imitating a pilot. The Original Script According to the original script, Kate would have entered the alien spacecraft to discover the mummified remains of a pilot, but soon she would get attacked by a pilot thing. As mentioned earlier, the pilot's biology was indispensable to fly the spacecraft, and as the thing wanted to fly away, it assumed the shape of the pilot. When it comes to attack Kate, an intruder, the pilot thing detaches the umbilical cord-like tubes, but Kate would threaten to blow up the ship using her last grenade. At this point, an assimilated Carter would have entered the spacecraft and noticed that if Kate blew up up the grenade, everyone would die. So, Carter Thing uses a flamethrower to burn the pilot thing, but this was only a plot to gain Kate's trust. Why was the pilot creature fired from the thing? As already mentioned, the alien pilot was replaced by a hologram tower. Therefore, the thing assimilated with Sander, which manifested in a mutated form. Now, the Sander thing was created digitally, and unfortunately, it shows. The special effects models and the depiction of the pilot alien were discarded because the pilot thing had confused the test audience. People were used to seeing asymmetrical and grisly physiology as far as the thing was concerned, and moving away from that turned out to be disastrous. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone.